Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to have a look at how fading in and fading out a waveform creates what's known as a desirable start attack time. What will happen often with instruments that are quite percussive and even instruments that are melodically percussive, like a bass sound here, at the beginning of the waveform, we'll find that the starting attack of that waveform rises a little bit too quickly. In other words, we'll hear a slight clicking or popping sound. And what we're going to want to do is manage that. We're going to want to make sure that that rising point on the wave isn't sharp, and therefore that when the bass loops or plays, we're going to be getting rid of that undesirable click. So, as I've pointed out before, we can use the zoom bar in the top window of WaveLab to illustrate this point we can zoom into any spot on that wave but let's have a very careful look at the beginning of the waveform and this is right at the very very beginning so now that we've zoomed in we can see by highlighting this piece you could see how when I started the highlight and I released the mouse that there was a snap to zero function and this is a very handy feature in WaveLab it automatically snaps to zero whenever we highlight it. The thing we're going to do now is we're going to create a fade in. So I'm going to press Control F and I'm going to fade in that waveform. We can see by selecting fade in, we can see now this long line and this is known as what's known as a linear fade in because the fade is actually taking place straight along this vector line. So when I click on apply, and I can do it several times, we'll notice that the waveform appears to be shrinking. And that is it's decreasing the amplitude that's playing back. So there you have it. So actually what's happened now is instead of having that sharp attack at the very, very beginning, we've softened the attack of the note with this few set of samples at the beginning, and we've made the sound overall pleasant. The same can be done with the end of the waveform, which we will go to right now. This is the end of the waveform, and we'll press the H key to zoom in. The G and H key do, the G does zoom in, and the H key does zoom out. We'll go right to the edge of that waveform. We'll press Control F again, and now we can see that the vector line, move this dialog box out of the way, see the vector lines now going in the opposite direction, and this is fading out that piece of audio. So we're going to apply that a few times so we can see that the shape of the wave changes. We're now going to close it. And now we fade it in and fade it out this particular waveform.